Alright, so first I want to start by saying Kala Lal Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rakakwadash, which is to give all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of James Grubman Stone. Unto you, I came out there pushing the truth into sincerity, the hopeful elect. Shalom. This is Brother Kanan from James, uh, Jamaica. And as I see on the screen, it says, Then they spit in his face and struck him, and some slapped him, saying, Prophesy to us, you, you Christ, who is it that struck you? All right. So the lesson going to be you know, centered around that. I don't, I'm not quite sure what the title will be, but it will be centered around something like that. You know, and I just want to, you know, just meditate upon the things that Yahweh Shai went through. You know, I mean, being the forerunner and being the first, being, you know, apart from Yahweh, he is the, you know, the next in line with all power, you know, and glory. That's a Yahweh above him. For you know to come on earth and to to experience these things, you know what I mean to be brought low, to be treated wrongfully, and to be you know to to accept that part, you know, and we as the awful lick should also embrace, you know. Going in, going through things like this, and when we look, when well, I look at myself and reflect into it, you know, realize that hey, we are well. Let me speak of myself. I'm far from it, yo. Far from it. Now everybody have a church, a church will, uh, a point, a breaking point, or a point where you know they, you know, certain things that they will take or not, but. We should all be embracing and accepting the part of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. You know what I mean? Yahweh Shai came here and I'm going to get into the scriptures also about that. You know, someone will accept certain things, but if I tell them so their mother, <laughs> all they'll be close. You know, Jake and the mother thing, you know, the emotion thing. Yeah, different, different things, um, you know makes persons react or you know sometimes you know it's not really just reacting with action but reacting by words re responding you know or even talking because again you know certain things you're just not expecting are you know your threshold is just there but we should be like Yahweh shy you know what I mean? We should be like Yao Shai. I try to be like Yao Shai. And how much of us can say to ourselves that, hey, what if someone was to come up and spit on us uh, for that? If we would just accept it without wanting to react or wanting to respond. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's easy said. But this, oh, Yahweh can give it a spirit to, you know, to endure such a thing. I should have disagreed because it's a disgrace or, or, or despising or, you know, someone looking at you as nothing to spit on you. You know what I mean? But we're going to get into the scriptures and, you know, just going into basically learning to, you know, not revile when you're reviled. You know, to, you know, just hear things and not even give a give half about it. Just put this flick it to the back of your, your head. Just move on to the part that you're on, you know, because that's you know that that's the ultimate goal to finish the course. You know, what I mean, and sometimes some things pop up. You know, it's go it's gonna happen. It's gonna be difficult at times because you know, but as it's a it's a temptation. It's a test. It's a temptation. It's a test. But at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Yeah, you still have to pass the test. And there the test is to actually draw closer to Yahweh Shai. 
you know because some of these things you, you can't see the logics behind them but what it does or what it do for you or what it does it push you closer to your how about and your shy because that's where your answer is gonna come from that's where your judge the, the justice is gonna come from that's where the you know the true righteousness is gonna come from so you have nowhere else to turn but to turn to and that's a good thing nothing all things work for the better of them you know that love your abash and your shy you know for the hopeful leg once everything the most I do is to better his grip it's to better, better his, his, his chosen vessels you know what I mean and we should see these things as betterment you know rather than seeing them as yo fucker you know even when them look like that at times you have to see them as that so I'm gonna get in some scripture you know what I mean hopefully this battery don't die uh, so this is um, Ecclesiasticus um, chapter 2 of verse 1. It says, My son, if thou comest to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Yeah, a lot of these things are just temptation, you know. Temptation in all different landers. It says, Set thy heart aright. Your heart is your mind. I mean, focusing on the journey, focusing on the path, focusing on Yahweh Hashem, your shy. Right, and constantly endure. Again, it's all about enduring until the end, doing the what you are asked to do. No one is perfect, but that's what the the ultimate goal is: enduring to the end. And may not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at the last. At thy last, so you're gonna increase at thy last if you endure unto the end. Right, whatsoever never says something, so whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Let's pause there. Then they spit in his face and struck him, and some slapped him, saying, Prophesy to us, you Christ, who is it that struck you? It says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. You know what I mean? For a gold is tried in fire, an acceptable man, men in the furnace of adversity. Right? Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Alright? So, pause that there. You know? So, it doesn't matter, like I said, all things that adversity is, all situation all problems they're only there for you to turn to your bashim your shy more and more and that is going to make you a perfect person because you of yourself is not perfect we can only attain perfection through your how bashim your shy you know what i mean and you know that's where the growth and the learning will take place you know and we tend to accept some things but not all things. It says whatsoever is brought upon you, take cheerfully. You know and I mean, everybody has their, um, their so-called threshold or limit. But the the end result is what's which supposed to be at the stage where it doesn't matter what comes to us. It should mean nothing at the end of the day. That's what it will should be. You know because. In the idea, it says your life, which means everything, you know, everything. All right, let me jump to the next scripture. This is um, first, uh, first Peter. I'm gonna just jump to 22. I'm gonna read through, through it. It says, Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit. Unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that you love one another with a pure heart, fervently, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of Yahweh, which liveth and abideth for ever. Says, for all flesh is as grass, 
and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. So grass really enticing but the flower on the grass is the glory part of the, of the flower. That's what people look at. Same thing with man. I mean, for all flesh is as grass and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. So, the glory of man as the flower of grass. This says the grass wither it away and the flower thereof fall it away. When man go, same thing goes. But the word of the Lord endureth forever, and this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. So, everything has been my own. Your life is the, the mark. So, if your life goes, then what the hell means? And nothing I'm supposed to mean that again, because your life is the mark. Life is the the, 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 the standard the, the, that you are willing to lose for this. Alright? Continue. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby, if so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as unto a living stone, this allowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. Same thing with the elect. Same thing. Yahusha is a standard in regards to that. Are we supposed to walk and to run? We're going to be disallowed or, you know, not accepted by men. If so be that we're part of the elect. But, we're going to be, you know, precious or chosen of, to, uh, of Yahweh. He says, ye also as living as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifice acceptable to you, to God by Yahweh Shemashiach. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect. Precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you, therefore, which believe, he is precious, but unto them which disbelieve, disobe, um, which be disobedient, the stone which the builders are disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of, a, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense. Even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, we're, we're unto also that we they were appointed. So they were appointed to be disobedient. Let me just continue because we're going to get to the point. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praise of him into his marvelous light. All right? We're going to continue. Right. I'm gonna jump to the point. I just uh, no. Ah, let me just continue with you it. Says dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshy lust, which were against the soul, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. Says submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme are unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well for so is the will of Yahweh that with well doing he may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men as free and not using your liberty as a cloak of maliciousness but as the servant of Yahweh 
honor all men, love thy brotherhood, fear Yahweh, honor the king. Servants, be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the forward. For this is thank worthy if a man for a conscience towards God endure grief, suffering wrongfully. For what glory is it if, when you be buffeted for your faults, you shall take it patiently? So what glory is it for you to be, you know, in the wrong and take it and accept it? You're wrong. You know what I mean? For what if a man... For this is thank word if a man conscience towards God towards God in your grief, suffering wrongfully, and he say that is um it is thank worthy, for that is glory is is it. For what glory is it if when you be buffeted for your fast you take it patiently, but if when you do well and suffer for it you take it patiently, this is acceptable with God. For even here unto where ye call, because Christ, Yahusha, Mashiach, also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth, who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. So Yahweh Shai turned to who? Yahweh. Right? Yahweh Shai turned to Yahweh. Who his own self be our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live and live into righteousness. Salakia. By whose stripes you were healed. Alright? So I can stop there. So yeah. Just to point out, just to just read that to us about the point. Yahusha is an example, and I mean, when these things happen, because they will happen and they will happen to all of us, and I mean, it is only there to bring us closer to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, and I mean, and by doing so, you will become stronger, you will become, you know. Because what lo you can't lose if you turn to the most side more and more. And the, the sorrow. The, let me get it. You know what I mean? So a lot, of time, a lot of time these things where they bring to you. They bring sorrow to you. You know what I mean? But is sorrow a bad thing? No. Not necessarily. You know what I mean? Everything has its balance. But being sorrowful is not a bad thing says verse this is um ecclesiastes 7 and verse 2 it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of, fe of feasting for that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to heart right sorrow is better than laughter for by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better he's making your mind better you know what i mean because you know you're meditating upon things and you know Reasoning with the most high, right? you know, seeking the most high, and of course, if you're seeking the most high with a true heart, then he's going to look down upon you. You know, man, you know what I mean? It says the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fool is in the house of mirth. Right? So, and this all says here it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. Right, so yeah, all those scriptures there are pointing out to you that nothing is wrong with going into a certain, you know, it's not for you to go into a, a mood and stuck in it, but to be basically go into a mindset where you're being drawn to the most, you know, and basically bettering yourself by doing that because hey, the most I brings you comfort, yo. The most Yahweh Hashem Yahshua brings you comfort, and these scriptures tell you that because we turn into Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, what you're going to turn? You're going to turn to the scriptures, and that's where the comfort will come, you know. So at the end of the day, 
we live in a society where persons like to tend to, you know, um, basically, persons like to, you know, defend themselves, defend themselves, but we have a defender, you know what I mean, not saying that you must not talk, but if I say something, you realize it's not going to work, just leave it, you know what I mean, because the most I see, you know, Sometimes it's really weird, dear. It's really weird because sometimes even when you decide not to say anything, <laughs> you end up in the same boat. But guess what? I accept it just the same. You know what I mean? Because again, at the end of the day, the most I see is, you know? And that's a lesson to, you know, for us meditate upon and, you know, think about and, you know, better ourselves. Draw closer to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. You know, and hope to the end of the day that we are a part of the hopeful lick. You know what I mean? So that's I'm going to wrap it up. I want to say, Kalalal Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash. Again, the honor of the apostles. And the lesson of James Kremlestone. Till I come out there. Shalom.